Currently, I have an application pending for Tesla Virtual Power Plant here in California, and I wanted to hit a few things that I'm running into that you might be running into as well. First off, I was excited that the day my power walls were online, I clicked the button for submitting my application for Tesla Virtual Power Plant. Looking back on it, probably should have waited before I got my permission to operate from the utility company. So I'm in Southern California, the utility is SoCal Edison, because when I pressed the application early, the application's really easy, it's a couple screens, but it was before I had my permission to operate, so the grid, the utility company was not aware of my new solar and of my battery. So, and on top of that, they're really backed up with NEM3 coming. So they got a rush of applications to get approved for NEM2. So I'm just guessing that somewhere in there, probably click the button a little too early for, so it's just been kind of stale sitting in their pipeline. So fast forward, took a, took a while, but I did get my permission to operate. And so now I'm reopening kind of conversations with SoCal Edison and Tesla to get my virtual power plant access turned on because the little screen inside the Tesla app has just said application pending for uh, going on a, you know, a couple months now. So with that, I called SoCal Edison. First, I chatted Tesla and they said, go to your utility company. And so I called the utility company and I said, hey, got my permission to operate, waiting on this. And of course they said, hey, looks good on our side, gotta talk to Tesla. So I went back to Tesla today and I got a little, little farther along, just kind of scrolling the chat and reading it to you a little bit. They're saying, <coughs> the new rep today says, everything looks fine on their side. You need to call the utility company because the application is sitting with them. We just submitted to them. But they wanted me to keep in mind, if I'm already on an ELRP program, the application is going to be denied because you can only be on one type of program at a time. I didn't know what ELRP means, so then I Googled that, and it just has to do with emergency load reduction program. So specifically, so long story short on all of that is I'm going to call back um, SoCal Edison right now, get what the next thing is that they're going to say, and with this new information about asking them, hey, am I on another emergency load uh, response program already? I'd like to be on Tesla Virtual Power Plant because there's a great landing page that I'll put in the bio about SoCal Edison and Tesla working together on this virtual power plant where I am. And during an emergency event, you get paid $2 per kilowatt hour for any energy you're able to send from your battery. So that's awesome because as I've talked about in other videos about how to monetize your surplus, $2 per kilowatt hour blows out of the water any other method of current monetization because we've talked about net surplus compensation rate from Edison. We've talked about the Bitcoin mining rate. We've talked about how charging your car and running it off your house is also ways of monetizing it, um, playing the playing the game of using the energy during the day and then using the battery at night. So lots of ways to monetize your energy. We talked about selling to a community choice aggregator instead of your utility company and how they pay higher for net surplus sometimes. But of all those methods, $2 per kilowatt hour during an emergency, highest paying out there. So that's the reason why I wanna get my application from pending to turned on. And I'm going through the ping pong of talking to Tesla support and talking to SoCal Edison support. Just giving you the play by play as I'm doing it. Just got off the phone with Tesla. So when you Google Southern California Edison emergency load, what is it? Emergency load reduction program. Okay. They have their own phone number. So Google SCE ELRP and just call that department directly. And I was able to get to a rep right away who's searching for the application. So if he wasn't able to find the application right away, again, I'm guessing it's because I was too anxious and did it immediately before I had my PTO. So it's just buried somehow, but he's going to give me a call back and we should be able to get up and running. Getting him on the phone is the best thing that's happened so far. So I feel pretty good about, uh, you know, getting it going today. Uh, it's late Friday afternoon. Just heard back from SoCal Edison. I lost a couple days because it turns out they need your service account number instead of your customer account number. And so now they're able to track down the application and figure out, you know, where it got lost on. But yeah, the got to leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Wasn't able to get the virtual power plant turned on, you know, today or this week. But if you're in the same situation and have a pending application for your Tesla virtual power plant make sure that you know and you're on socal edison make sure you call their actual you know program line for this sort of thing and make sure you know your service account number so if you like that check out these other videos you know about what i'm doing with my tesla powerwall